Let's come into a comfortable position for meditation. I'd like to actually just say at this point, you do not have to even be in an upright sitting position if you don't want to be. If it's more comfortable for you to be lying down for whatever reasons, or reclining on a couch or something like that, that's just fine. If you are sitting with your upper body upright, you may have something like a chair back supporting your back, or you may be uh, free sitting, so to speak, so that there's no support uh, like a chair back. You could be on a bench, you could be on a cushion, a stool, or you could be in the front of a chair away from its back. So finding your seat. You might have eyes closed, you might have gaze lowered, either is just fine. Let your hands rest either on your thighs or in your lap. For those of you with a, so to speak, free back, I'll offer a little bit of guidance on posture. The main thing that's important if, if our back isn't supported is that it be balanced that our upper body be well balanced. And it's worth taking a little time just to check this out. You might allow yourself to rock gently forwards and backwards a few times. Do it in a way that's gentle enough that it helps you come into a settled state. You might let the movements get smaller and smaller and be sort of sensing where the balance point is. It's probably not just a point, but more of a kind of zone. So be feeling out the balance zone. And when you think you're finding it, let the movements get super small. Or just check if you need to do any side to side adjustment. You might check that there's at least a little bit of a lumbar arch that the lumbar spine is coming a little bit forward rather than being rounded backward. It's kind of a, the sort of linchpin of a, of a healthy posture if we can manage it. Not to worry if for any reason that's challenging or not comfortable. then we might imagine that um, some kind of kind and friendly giant with soft hands has taken hold of the sides of our head and is gently kind of maneuvering it, pulling it a little bit backward and upward that makes our chin come down and tuck just a tiny bit and lets the back of the neck get a little bit longer. This is not critical at all, and if that image doesn't work for you, no problem, just drop it. But see if you can have a sense of the 
the top and the back of the head softly, gently rising by themselves, as if there were a cluster of little helium balloons right under the rear part of the cranium. And you might even feel a little gentle, almost like attraction, just very gently in the back and sides of the neck. It should be pleasant with no effort whatsoever. And allow it to bring a sense of upright ease into the whole spine. As if the whole spine is rising by itself in the kind of way that dough rises from the yeast within it, effortless. Let the jaw soften and be relaxed and loose. Let the throat be soft. And let the shoulders and arms be soft and settling and limp. Let the chest be warm. If there's any kind of holding that you might detect in the chest area, that's just fine, we welcome it. Let's be warm and soft around it. Likewise in the midriff, the solar plexus, area sort of between the chest and the belly. Let's be warm and soft around it and through it. And if there's any subtle energies in there of any kind, they're fully welcome. And let the belly also be soft and warm. Ah, and let that softness and warmth melt down into the seat, the upper legs, the knees, lower legs, ankles, feet. So the whole body is finding a state of ease, rest, effortless rest. We're turning off multiple systems, turning off all the systems that fire up, power up through the day. They're having a break now. It's safe here. It's a supported environment in which it's safe and okay to let those systems turn off for a little while like turning off the key in a car. The engine goes quiet. Maybe you hear a kind of little tick as the engine is resting, settling. A little tick, a little, little drip drip or something, little sounds as the engine is settling like that in the body, little, little releases may happen, little twinges, or little pulses here and there, as we're really dialing things down, coming into rest, It's a lovely kind of rest 
where mm, it's got a quality to it where um, out of the rest comes an awareness. The rest has a special kind of wakeful awareness. Almost like it sort of blooms forth out of the condition of restfulness. It comes forth effortlessly. No effort. And don't worry if it's not easily showing itself. No problem. Just tasting rest. And sure, yeah, thoughts may come. Fine, we may get caught up in thought. No problem. As soon as we realize we may have been on a little journey of thought. Fine, we're happy that we've recognized it. This is what the practice is all about. Not never thinking, of course not. But when we realize we've been thinking, we're happy about it. We've realized it. We've come back to here, to now. Great, we're back. This is where we actually really want to be. Yeah, and even if there may be difficult feelings coming up, there are all kinds of reasons in our lives why there might be. Even they, they're so welcome here. That's why we have a soft, warm body. To welcome, give a home to any difficult feelings. Maybe we find some energies like that in the heart area and we just soften around them. Maybe sometimes that's what our meditation time needs to be, is finding our way to providing, to offering a soft, warm home for our feelings of suffering, offering it, offering feelings that are maybe painful, a home. They are not banished from meditation ever, ever, ever. They're welcome. This is a practice of deep welcome of allowing. That's this special kind of rest. It lets things be. It allows things to be themselves, just as they need to be. It welcomes. It welcomes warmly, sort of like a great mother but seen it all, she's seen it all. She's been through fire and she's still here. And she, she welcomes everything. So we're sitting in a state of rest Of, of a lovely kind of wakefulness. Almost sometimes feels like a special kind of glow. Sometimes people feel it that way and it doesn't have to be that way. A sort of easy awareness. And it has an intrinsic quality of welcome. We might feel this kind of welcome. You can sometimes feel it all through the body. 
Sometimes almost the awareness itself seems to spread all through the the tissue, the fabric of the body. Soft, warm, awake. Any time we might feel we should be trying harder or something. No, no, we go the other way. Less effort. This kind of awareness is found when effort is released and, well, allowed also. If it's hard to stop effort of some kind, fully allow it and welcome it and sort of fall back into the welcome, rest back in the welcome. Trust the ease And if somehow you find there's something that doesn't want to trust it or resists trusting it, welcome that. That's welcome too. The sort of what makes the ease here is this kind of universal welcome. We're giving our minds, our bodies, and our hearts a deep rest. a deep, loving rest. A loving ease. How the weary human spirit needs this. And here it is. So much doing, so much trying. Not now. We can put that aside now. You know, just a note that should you need to adjust your posture, by all means, please do so. I would just advise to do it slowly, and then your meditation won't be disturbed.
For some of you, if you're used to practicing with the breath, you might find your attention goes to the breath. That's, that's just fine and wonderful. Let it do that. See if you can let the breaths be like really long, slow ocean swells. And let the and let the awareness engulf them. Be all around them. Just remembering that if anything that uh, in some way feels difficult comes up, uh, we welcome it. We soften around it. This is a, a space big enough for many things, perhaps just about everything. This universal welcome. Check that the jaw is relaxed and loose. In the last few minutes, if you want, you might see what it's like to let a gentle smile come into your face. You can even say the word to yourself a few times. Smile. Smile. Just see if it Bring some slightly new flavor to the sitting, to the awareness. If, if it does, let that spread all through your body. And if somehow there's a way that the smile wants to spread even somehow beyond your body in a certain kind of way, then by all means,
we're going to come to the end of this uh, sort of formal sitting time round about now. Uh, if you'd like to keep on sitting, of course, just go right ahead. Um, those of us who are coming to an end of, of our sit right now, maybe raise the eyes when you're ready, maybe sway, rock, move around a little bit, wiggle toes, wiggle fingers, whatever you might want to do. Um, you know, a little stretch can be nice. 